this is the damper in the full open position. Notice the little slot here. Okay, now I'm going to close it. That little slot is blocked, not allowing the oil to go through. And that's your lockout position. Imagine, if you will, that this is a this is the compression side of your front fork. And this is the damper. Okay. And it's closed off. So, once you set it in, screw it down. And if the fluid is too low and, you, and it's locked out, what's going to happen is just the air is going to compress. You're not going to be able to lock out your front fork. So rather than go by the recommended volume of fork oil, you've just gone and added the fork oil till it's 80 to 85 millimeters from the top of the crown. So when you put in the damper, it sits into the fluid. And so when you lock it out, there's no air to compress and it's locked out. Also, when it's low, the shock dampening doesn't start until you push the air up into the damper. <clears throat> so the way I measure the height of the fluid is I stick a stick down in it. Then I pull it out and you determine where the wet part is. Now I'm going to Stick it down the fork to the top of the crown. And I'm going to pull it out where that line is. And you measure the distance between here and here. Here and here. It's supposed to be 85 millimeters. 80 to 85 millimeters. So if this is less than the 80 to 85 millimeters, you get a syringe and you suck some of it out. And obviously, if it's too low, you just add. What I found, when this is at 85, you have just a little bit of movement when you lock, lock out the front fork. And if you take it all the way to 80, there's absolutely no move. You lock out that front fork and it's stiff right there. And that's the solution to getting the proper amount of fork oil in a Rock Shocks Rincon fork. Okay, I rebuilt a couple of Rock Shocks forks. When I did the first one, it was an older 100, 100 millimeter travel. And it said that it takes 118 milliliters of fork oil and the one I just did recently is 120 millimeters boost which is theoretically takes 140 milliliters of fork oil problem is is that came up way short too much air the oil level is 85 millimeters below the top of the count on this bike. Okay, so here's the lockout. See, I just a little bit. If I want it to 80, there we go. That moment, but it does lock out. I have 100 PSI in the fork. On the air side, I'm going to release all the air. See if it was overfilled with fork oil, this would be stopping before it got toward the top. Okay, this fork is locked out. I'm not pushing on it right now, but it doesn't matter because the amount of movement you see 
It's the amount of movement you would see if I was pushing on it.